I think we're the best storytellers. I was fired from being in a gang. <laughs> Black comedy is always going to be based on the truth. Truth to power. This morning and every single morning, I've woken up just, what, black again, hope I make it. Oh, you only voted for Obama because he's black. Fuck yeah. But if we get rid of the Confederate flag, <laughs> how am I gonna know who the dangerous white people are? To me, being a black comedian in America means that you gotta stand up for something, you gotta say something. If I was a white woman, I would rob black dudes. <laughs> black guys get arrested just for not buying coffee. I like watching Trump rallies, because for the first time in my black life, I get to see white people be embarrassed by other white people. I was uh, stopped by the, by the cops in a cab. They're like, oh, really? You're a comedian? Tell me a joke. And I was like, you just pulled over my cab? Nigga, that's the joke. It's not just a joke to them. It's real. How do you celebrate Black History Month, sir? <laughs> they need to laugh. Think about why the comedy club is important. We found a place where we can just laugh away the pain. My mother was a social worker. My father was a drug dealer. They had the same clients. I have to talk to my people and say, yeah, this happened to me, too. White people, don't let this white guilt get you, OK? Relax. This shit is funny. What better place to be able to tell your story than on a stand-up stage with freedom of speech and letting it just go?